time mid-siding banjo because it seems like banjo always has a point to it and, and it's always sharp and, and it, it's the easiest to poke out in a mix and sometimes it's not the easiest to lay back in a mix and make a bed of. Right. So sometimes I'll use uh, a 121 or 122 Royer along with uh, an MA201 uh, MA, uh, or 301 Right. and I'll mid-side it so I can make that banjo wide and just kind of lay recess back a little bit if it's not the most important if it's not a feature of the track and I just kind of want a, a really smooth, grooving bed back behind the singer. Right. I'll, I'll Very cool. And let's just talk about mic placement. How do you have those the, the 301s placed? Well, my, my favorite spot uh, that I always will always try to focal uh, the mics at is right where the neck joins the, the resonator of the, of the instrument. That okay. seems like Same it's as an always acoustic a guitar. spot. Very right. similar, yeah. And... Then I try to get a stereo spread from there, and, and before I would just put, I would just pan both of the in, both of the mics somewhat back by the bridge and somewhat there, and just trying to capture the whole uh, resonation of the instrument uh, wrapped around the resonator. But Scott has been uh, kind of bringing it up a little more and getting a little little brighter top end, and, and his banjos are so warm and so fat, much much more so than, than most people's banjos. And so he is looking to get a little more top end, a little more crack, and, and right. so so he's almost approaching it like we're also doing the acoustic guitar, kind of over the right shoulder, just a little bit, and uh, and just capturing the the whole essence of the banjo, letting it develop a little bit more, as opposed to such close miking and, and kind of trapping the instrument. <laughs> spirit wandering and the wind will cross your shoulder then you'll start to hear them sing look out for those all-time angels they'll not serve you anymore for they're up there in those mountains seeking 